Well, we are already in the legal tampering period right before free agency starts for the NFL, and the Washington Commanders were very busy yesterday. They've already seemed like they have addressed several areas of need that we have talked about on this channel, and I'm certainly for sure that other channels have talked about this and fans have talked about this in general. Just yesterday, the Commanders agreed to sign two offensive linemen to the roster, uh, one from the world champion Kansas City Chiefs um, and uh, Andrew Wiley, and the other one from one of our NFC East foes, New York Giants, um, Nate... Oh, I had it right here. Let's see. Nate Gates. Nate Gates. I'm sorry. Um, Nate Gates, who actually, interesting uh, thing with him, he broke his fibula and tibula against the Washington Commanders back in 2021 and went through seven surgeries to repair the injury, fought his way back, and Washington Commanders signed him. So uh, he he's pretty versatile. Now, both of these guys on the offensive line, they're versatile players, so they can play more than one position. You know, the thing that we always joked about is that Ron Rivera's favorite saying is position flex. Uh, he loves a player who can play more than one position, and so with Nate Gates, he's able to play center, so he can shift into the center position as well as guard. And I think that's going to be extremely important for the Washington Commanders. As well as um, Andrew uh, Wiley. Andrew Wiley seems like he can play both tackle. He played tackle for the Kansas City Chiefs last year. Can also move into the guard position as well. Now, uh, from what I'm reading on Wiley, he was um, one of the worst. I think he was the weakest link on the Kansas City Chiefs offensive line last year. Um, but as I read more into that, it's a little bit of an anomaly because you got to think Patrick Mahomes holds on to the ball a long time, right? Because he's scrambling around, he's trying to make a play, he's an interesting quarterback. He, he, is, he is not your prototypical quarterback. You know, when you're looking for, when you're looking for, okay, textbook style playing quarterback Patrick Mahomes does not check mark any of that right um, and so that could put a lot of pressure on your your front guys there trying to protect you but he is actually a pretty sound pass protector and I think that he's going to play much better here in Washington and I think that Ron Rivera certainly saw something uh, Mark Mayhew as well cer certainly saw something in Wally, and he's bringing him in for a three-year deal. Again, very versatile, so uh, he can move into the guard position, and or maybe they keep him at the tackle position. They move Cosme in there. I, I guess it'll remain to be seen what they do, but uh, certainly what I'm liking is the fact that they are addressing the offensive line, uh, where I felt like they did not do that last year. They let guys go, and then they just kind of brought people in to fill in the positions they let go, but it really didn't work. So, having said that, doesn't that actually stop there? Of course, you know about Deron Payne getting signed for the four-year deal. Um, I'm sure all of you were flooded about that information, obviously, because <laughs> by the time you got to my uh, video, a lot of people did not even watch my video. I saw the analytics, so... I understand. Uh, but, you know, of course, Deron Payne, he signs his four-year extension. But Danny Johnson got extended as well. I, I I applaud that. You know, Danny Johnson, I think, is a very solid player. You know, he came off the bench and gave us some, some very positive minutes. Um, you know, we need a lot of depth there in the secondary. I think secondary has always been one of those thin areas for us. And uh, so... I like the fact that we're signing our young guys. Cameron Curl's got to be next. We got to re-sign Cam uh, Cameron Curl. Uh, but speaking of young guys in the secondary, we 
went and we claimed off the waivers from the Minnesota Vikings Cameron Dancer or Dantzler. Um Dantzler, he's a very up and coming, promising corner, young guy. Um, you know, somebody that we might be able to develop. And we've seemed like we've developed our secondary pretty de- pretty decently. I, 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 I mean, our young guys did better than our free agents, I feel like, you know, with the exception of, of Fuller. I think Fuller has always been, for the most part, pretty solid. But, you know, you got like Forrest, who, who played, I thought, exceptionally well. Um, Curl, who has turned into one of the best uh, safeties in the league, in my mind, maybe a rose-colored glasses there. Um, and, of course, you know, Danny Johnson coming off the bench, giving us positive um, minutes there. And and now you got Dantzler coming in who, who can help out. Um, we're really getting some good um, young talent there in the secondary. And I'm enjoying, you know, these are not sexy big name splashes, but this is not what we were intending to do in free agency anyway. Um, but you know, it doesn't stop there. Uh, it seems like we signaled the end of the mullet and this, this certainly brings a tear to my eye because, uh, for those who know me personally, uh, knows that I have, um, a love affair of the mullet. Um, I had the beautiful locks, Back in high school, um, you know, I, I've always uh, loved the mullet. Always wished it would come back. Um, and and my wife is threatened to uh, divorce me if uh, if I ever grew my mullet back. So obviously, I would never have my mullet back. But uh, having said that, Cole Holcomb is likely gone. And because of that, we went out and signed his clone. Uh, it's one year clone, one year deal with his clone. Cody Barton, we picked him up from uh, Seattle. Um, I, I call him the Cole Holcomb clone because his playing style, his numbers, his his everything, except for the mullet, <laughs> he he is Cole Holcomb. And uh, so by by saying that. Um, I think we're not going to miss a beat. You know, we signed to one-year deals. It's kind of a one-year prove-it deal. We're going to see how Barton is able to come in and play for us. I think that this was a good move. Um, Obviously, you know, a lot of people keep talking about linebacker. We need that that strong linebacker core. And, you know, Ron Rivera seems content with the linebackers. You know, we re-signed David Mayo. Um, a lot of us fans were not, you know, very excited about that, but we did. And, you know, of course, we got Jamin Davis, who developed pretty nicely as the season went on. And now we got Cody Barton. So, you know, I guess Martin Mayhew, Ron Rivera feel like that they have addressed the linebacking core enough. And then maybe they go out in the draft and they draft a guy. That could happen. Um, I haven't really went out to see who else is available in free agency. I don't expect us to necessarily go out and and make some big splashy moves, though. So we'll wait and see what what happens. But um, I, w- I would say we're not going to we're not, probably not going to put up big money for a linebacker. Not not unless the deal is just so good to pass up that we can't pass it up. So, folks, I mean, it was a busy day, and it's just the first day of legal tampering. Free agency doesn't even start until Wednesday at 4 p.m. But, of course, we're already hearing teams agreeing to to terms with new players and, you know, existing players and, and things like that. So, um, I don't expect to really start hearing outrageous news come four o'clock tomorrow um, we may hear some other signings but I think it's going to be low profile signings by the Washington commanders 
The only other name out there that right now, it's, it's an interesting rumor, but it's a very strong rumor for some reason that the Commanders are tied to, but also the Bears and the Lions are tied to this as well, is there's strong interest in stud running back Austin Eckler. And I found this to be interesting because why is the Commanders tied to Eckler? Uh, I mean, certainly, if they got Eckler, wow. I mean, now, he he would definitely, I mean, between him, Brian Robinson, um, you know, but, I mean, what what does that say? Is Eric Benemy not too thrilled with Gibson? Um, I mean, you know, I, I think we have, I think we're good with running back, honestly, so... You know, going out and seeing Eckler, I'm, I'm really kind of surprised that we would be looking in his direction. But from what I'm hearing, there are strong rumors that we are tied to a possible trade for Eckler. Now, who would we trade or what would we trade? Who knows? Could it be a Chase Young to Eckler? I, I'm not putting that out there, folks. I'm not. But... Um, that's the only splashy move that I think that we could be tied to, and, and I, I don't know if that's going to happen. But that is one name that I have heard strong rumors on that the Washington Commanders are tied to. Remains to be seen. Will we get a quarterback? I mean, obviously we're, we need to get a good veteran backup quarterback, I think, for uh, Sam Howell. I think we're still looking at seeing if we can re-sign Taylor Heineke. Um, I would prefer Heineke just because he's already been in the system, and I think that would do some good for Sam Howell. I think they have a good working relationship. I just don't know if Heineke wants to come back, um, but if so, I think that would be that, that would be good for the Washington Commanders. We know that Heineke can obviously come in and win some football games for us. But this all sets up something for the draft. You know, are we showing our hands at the draft? You know, we're going out and we're filling holes that we need in free agency. What are we going to do in the draft? You know, are we looking at our draft picks now? Are we seriously looking at making moves to move up for a quarterback? Are we making moves to, you know, get a big time corner? Are we are we still going to look at the offensive line? Are we still going to try to get one stud on that offensive line that would kind of change everything? I mean, you know, the sky's the limit at this point, but it's going to be interesting because right now, honestly, I think that We've, we've signed a lot of depth for the offensive line, and hopefully we're going to get some um, healthy guys back. You know, maybe we re-sign Taylor Larson, or Tyler Larson, I should say. Um, so, you know, now I'm kind of stumped. I, I, you know, really, I think we're going to get a quarterback either in the draft or free agency. Right now I'm looking at free agency, and I'm like, who is out there that we would be picking up as far as a quarterback? I mean, there's there's guys out there. Um, there's probably not going to be – I mean, we're not going to get Aaron Rodgers. Forget that. Uh, and we're not getting Lamar Jackson. Forget that. The only way we get Lamar Jackson is if Dan Snyder decides to, to screw the franchise and next owner by going ahead and signing him to a lucrative deal and – you know, just just to force the team into this bad cap deal for the next several years, just to stick it to them. But that's the only way that Lamar Jackson even comes to Washington. Other than that, um, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see. So I imagine we'll know something in the next probably couple of days, maybe. Folks, this video has gotten way too long. Didn't mean for it to get this long, so I am going to end it here. Um, I'm not going to show you my ad for Etsy. It's Etsy. Go to MB Artwork on Etsy. You can look at it. Uh, if you enjoy this video, please like it. 
helps the algorithm out a lot, helps to get this video out to others. My last video tanked. So please, please like this video, share it with others, um, comment. Uh, what do you think about the legal, legal tampering uh, period so far? Um, who do you think we go out and get in free agency other than who we've already gotten? Have we already shown our hand? Um, what's next for the Washington Commanders in free agency? This is most exciting time for the Commanders, isn't it? Oh, my dear Lord. I'll see you in the next one. Hey, you stayed until the very end. Thank you so much. Watch another one right now.